Jeff Howard here at KiteBunny.com and I want to tell you I've been working on a project if you followed me on some of my videos with my kiss loop. Now the kiss loop is a very simple, I call it keep it simple stupid loop. And it's here's the bar that I ride and this is the kiss loop. It's got the releasable loop here. It's got a leash connection point. Um, I use this for foil boarding because I ride way underpowered. I want the kite to move quick, responsive, and I don't come unhooked. So I wanted a very simple system and that is the KISS system. Now the whole crux of this KISS system was coming up with a bar, finding a bar that I wanted. The biggest thing about these ultralight bars is they don't have winders. I want winders on the end to wind up very small, nothing big, and we figured it out. This is a full carbon bar and we have been working with one of our suppliers, got the bars built and they are amazing. This is a complete setup with the KISS system on it, with my race fly lines on here, and it's less than one pound. It's 0.95 pounds for the whole setup. The ends of the lines, I have uh, adjustable pigtails or I have the universal, so it'll work on any kite I wanna hook up to the system. Now, the deal was the bar. These bars are awesome. They have turned out really good. We've definitely worked our butts off trying to get this all lined up. The system, they've got aluminum anodized ends on them here, so they'll last forever. It's got a carbon internal, everything is adhered inside of it, and it's got loops here on the end. This is so clean and so simple. So if you want to build a bar, you can build it out of one of these. Now we've got them in 40, 45, 50, and 55. And again, they're full carbon, colored as you see here. Very simple, it's got a very large hole here, so you can basically use any chicken loop system you want to in here. Um, very easy to adjust. Now, the cool part about it is building the system up. We've got it down here, uh, and you can choose it with standard leaders. We'll, we can make you leaders that go all the way out to wherever you want to go out to. You can tie knots on the leaders and do it that way if you want. My system, I have adjustable uh, outside lines here. So I've got three knots here that I can adjust as my front lines settle in or something gets tweaked in the system. I can adjust my left and my right lines. I've got three knots here. You could add more knots if you wanted to in this system. So if you ever wanted these adjustables which are in the system, you can put it in the additional notes section or give us a call. But the measurement that we need is from the center of the bar out to where you want your fly lines to connect. And this distance is usually the distance from which the chicken loop or the line, your front lines connect into the loop. This is a KISS system. I've adjusted it to where I want it. I've got my amount of sheeting system in here that I want. Um, and once this distance is set, then I adjust my leaders on my bar out to that. So we need the measurement. If you say you wanted a two foot, we look at it and measure it from the bar out to those lines and we make you an adjustable pigtail set for the bar. We can make those standard or whatever you like. Again, we built everything in-house and put it all together for you. If you want a race line setup or you'd like to have standard lines. Now there's race lines, the, the ratings are a little bit lower, but your air drag's way lower. So give you a suggestion on it. Um, you can also, a couple of the guys have use the cam cleat. Instead of having this on the KISS system, uh, I have it internal in here and it's a sleeve back inside of itself and it completely locks. It will not slide, it has never slide. We've been testing this for well over a year now and you can reach up here when it's slightly depowered, kite off to the side, I've done it riding and you'll reach up and know which one to pull and the sheeting goes back out and it's easy just to grab and pull and sheet in. It's a neat little system but if you don't like that, you can easily install a cam cleat into the system. Very easy, there's plenty of line on the KISS loop system to add a cam cleat in there. Anyway, to give you a suggestion on kite sizes, um, we've got it all the way down to a 40 and a lot of people ask why. I ride the 40, I have a four meter. Some guys now, it's getting real popular in high wind areas, they're riding two and three meter kites. So I ride this on my four, five, and a six for a 40. And then I go seven, eight, nine on the uh, 45, or you can also go up to a 10. That's plenty of throw. If you can backstall that kite in a turn, then you've got plenty of bar on there. This is just to give you suggestions. Again, you'll come up with what you like to ride. Um, the fifth, this is a 50. 50 would go up to some of your bigger stuff. I run a 50 on my nine meter chrono ultralight on my foil kite. 
Um, I add a, a reverse backup line on there. Everything could be added to the system. You just let us know. But I ride that on my nine meter chrono. You could easily ride it up to bigger. Some of the guys like to go out and race and when they're racing and you want a full huge throw on a kite, they'll go up to these larger 55 centimeter bars. But anyway, these things are fantastic. I am so stoked to get finally get one of the KISS bars out here so I can start building the full systems for people. I've had so many requests for it to come up with a custom bar setup with the KISS loop and everything ready to rock. And we're really stoked and we are ready to go into the season. These are gonna be hot right now. We're, we've got limited production. We're putting them together, getting them going as fast as we can. And I know some people will be calling us, sending us in orders and stuff like that. Be patient, get with us, we will get it done. Anyway, that's Jeff Howard here at KiteBoarding.com with the new KISS bar and KISS loop system.